work is being done. But what is the rate at which this work is being done? So I might do 10 joules of work in one hour or 10 joules of work in just one second. And these two can't be the same. Right? So we have a quantity to define this. It's called power, which is the rate at which work is done or the work done divided by the time. Which means that if you have a power of say five, let's define the unit in a while. It means that for every unit of time, which is in this case second, five joules of energies or five joules of work is being done. And this unit is called Watt, named after James Watt. Great. Now it so happens that the watt is a pretty small unit. So usually we measure commercial units are kilowatts. So if at home, you'll probably be consuming kilowatts rather than watts. And even energy, if you want to take the commercial unit of energy, it's not really joules. Joules happen to be a very, very small unit. We, if you measure things in joules, we'll be talking in millions of joules or billions of joules, and that's very inconvenient. So what we do is we define something called kilowatt R. Just like kilowatt defines power, kilowatt R is a unit to define joules. And one kilowatt hour is actually 3.6 and 10 to the power of 6 joules. So one kilowatt hour comes to that much. So the commercial unit is a lot larger than our SI unit of one joule. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Byjuice, the all new and personalized learning app.